Former UN ambassador, warmonger, and war crime apologist Nikki Haley thought that she'd be able to get Bernie Sanders by responding to one of his tweets about healthcare and deliberately misconstruing the point he was trying to make. So Bernie Sanders tweeted, in the United States, it costs on average $12,000 to have a baby. In Finland, it costs $60. We've got to end the disgrace of our profit-driven healthcare system and pass Medicare for all. Now, the tweet, to any reasonable person, makes perfect sense. In comparison with other first world countries, the healthcare costs are astronomical. So we all get what he was trying to say. However, here's how Nikki Haley supposedly interpreted it. And here's how she tried to get him. All right, Bernie Sanders, you're not the woman having the baby, so I wouldn't be out there talking about skimping on a woman when it comes to childbirth. Trust me. Nice try, though. Healthcare costs are too high, that is true, but comparing us to Finland is ridiculous. Ask them how their healthcare is. You won't like their answer. Hey, moron, maybe take a moment to talk to an American and see what they have to say about our healthcare system. I don't think you're going to like their answer. So for her to suggest that Bernie Sanders was talking about skimping or cuts to spending with regard to healthcare related to childbirth is absolutely absurd because she knows that that's not what he's talking about. And she tried to kind of give herself cover, I think, by saying, sure, healthcare costs are too high, but we know what you were trying to do in that original tweet, Nikki. You were trying to get us to think he wanted to cut healthcare spending when it comes to childbirth, which is completely just factually incorrect. And it's also hypocritical because the administration that you worked for just proposed cuts to healthcare policies, such as Medicare and Medicaid. So not only is she being disingenuous here, but she's also being hypocritical. And this story pisses me off, especially right now, because my niece, who's 20 years old, just had a baby girl, and she's going to be spending months in the NICU and had to have surgery within the first week that she was born, just a couple of days ago. And it's because she was born with a medical condition where her stomach developed into her lungs. So she's had to be on this breathing tube because she can't breathe on her own since the moment she was born. So the problem with America's healthcare system is that my niece, who already has insurance, can't just worry about the health of her baby. She also has to worry about medical bills because having her baby stay in the NICU for months, that's not going to be cheap. She also has to worry about her partner having food while he's there because she'll get meals from the hospital, but he won't and has to worry about paying bills while their baby is in the hospital this long. So guess what she had to do? She had to start a fucking GoFundMe when she already has health insurance. So don't pretend, Nikki Haley, as if you care about mothers when women who have insurance still have to worry about going into debt because of situations like this. And what's crazy is that my niece isn't the only person I know currently who has insurance but still had to create a GoFundMe. My friend, Joy Marie, you all know her. She hosts Savage Joy. She has insurance, but she's fighting with them to cover a particular procedure that she needs, and they won't, so she had to do a GoFundMe. So this is what we have to deal with. So Nikki Haley needs to talk to an American about our current healthcare system, because it's clear she's ignorant. Now, let me link you to the GoFundMes to my niece, Megan, and my friend, Joy. Hopefully, you will be encouraged to chip in a buck or two, because this is unfortunately the system where we live in. But the point is that we shouldn't have to do this. People in America should not have to resort to GoFundMe for healthcare, and they especially shouldn't have to do that if they already have health insurance. But there are 25 million Americans who are underinsured, meaning they have insurance, but if they need a particular procedure or they're going to be ramping up a pretty big medical bill, well, it may very well be the case and will likely be the case that they're still going to have to pay out of pocket because their health insurance provider isn't going to cover everything. So the situation we have in America is absurd. And when Nikki Haley ignorantly tells you to talk to someone from Finland about their health care, which assumes she thinks that ours is better than theirs, well, 
I just love the response because people from Finland didn't hesitate to weigh in. One person says, Nikki, we have two children, oldest born in US and younger one in Finland. You should ask my wife. You would not like her answer. Another person says, it's pretty great. Thanks for asking. Another person says, I'm a Finn. I have been educated by Finnish public education system. I'm a director with a master's in economics. I have two children born in public hospitals. Our healthcare system is giving us excellent service. Finland was ranked yesterday the happiest country in the world. So it turns out, Nikki, that when you actually talk to people from Finland about their healthcare system... They love it. And it's not just that they love it, but this is backed up by data that it's actually demonstrably better than ours. Because as Emily Tampkin of the Washington Post explains, a global burden of disease study published last year found that Finland had one of the best healthcare systems in the world. According to that study, Finland, Switzerland, and Iceland have the best quality and most egalitarian systems, and of the top nations, Finland's healthcare had improved the most in recent years. According to the same study, the United States had the world's most expensive healthcare system. US News and World Report declared Finland to have the best public healthcare system. In a 2014 study on infant mortality in the United States and Europe, Finland had the lowest rate and the United States had the highest. Finland's permanent representative to the United Nations, not content to let those studies speak for themselves, also pointed out to Haley that Finland's maternal mortality is, according to the World Health Organization, the lowest in the world and that Per OECD, Finland has the second lowest mortality from cancer of European Union countries. So what Nikki Haley ended up doing by responding to Bernie Sanders and deliberately misconstruing the point that he was trying to make, the obvious point that he was trying to make, was she ended up catalyzing a discussion about just how wonderful Finland's healthcare system is. So to say that this attack on Bernie backfired would be an understatement because she downright face planted. And it's because if you're going to talk about healthcare and you want to cite statistics or facts, you're going to lose 10 times out of 10 because when we say that Scandinavia does it better in a number of areas, we have data on our sides to back up that claim. Now, there are some people already responding, saying, well, yeah, Finland is doing really well because their population size is a fraction of the United States's. So obviously that means we can't possibly make our system as good as Finland's. Except that's bullshit because the amount of revenue a country generates from its population will be proportional to its population size. So even if we may have millions more citizens in the United States than Finland, well, that also means that we have more money. So, of course, we can do what they're doing here. It's just that there's always some lame excuse that somebody's going to bring up to convince you that what we have is better than everyone else. When we are the only modern first world country who doesn't do what everyone else does and we spend more per capita than them, and we get worse results. So you can't even argue anymore about Medicare for All and the fundamentals of it and just how beneficial it would be to improving our healthcare system, both in quality and cost. But they're still going to lie because that's all they got. But unfortunately for them, it's not working because 70% of the country now supports Medicare for All. And that includes 51% of Republicans. So her own party no longer agrees with her. They agree with us. So if you are going to try to stop the momentum we have, you're going to have to do better than misconstruing our points about Medicare for All because we see right through it. Girly Mike Fettuccini needs your support on Patreon. What a loser. Visit patreon.com slash humanist report to support the low ratings humanist report. Sad. My views are much higher.